Hello cloud enthusiasts. Do you want to get hired by big tech companies? If so, today we will discuss a different topic geared towards helping you get a job in a big tech company. I have worked with AWS as a senior solutions architect for several years. During my time, I conducted several interviews. Today I will share my experiences and observations with all of you and discuss what these big tech companies are looking for in their potential future employee. In this video, I will inform you about the hiring process at big tech companies and the areas you need to focus on to improve your chances of success. First, the most crucial step is to get your resume noticed by recruiters. To do that, you need to make specific changes in how you describe your prior job experiences. When writing your resume, one thing to remember is that data drives these big tech companies. They rely on data for everything they do, whether hiring, building a new product, or acquiring a new business. Keeping this data-driven strategy in mind, the first step is to update your resume in order to reflect your achievements in terms of quantifiable data. Let me explain it with an example. Say I was a technical team lead in my previous job, where I managed a team of engineers as well as participated as an individual contributor. Typically, I have seen a lot of resumes in which candidates show their experiences like so managed a team of engineers, architected and built products using cutting edge technology. Do you see what's wrong with these statements? You guessed it. There is no data. So we need to rephrase the information and make it quantifiable by including some data. So let's go ahead and rewrite our experience with some data points like so. As a team lead, I have introduced a process that helped improve team's performance by 25%. Or, as a technical lead, I have re-architected our platform to help reduce cost by 40% while improving performance by 20%. You got the idea. Now remember, whatever numbers you put in your resume, you have to back them during the interview. In the interview, you will likely get questions asking for more details about the numbers you have mentioned in your resume. Such as, can you elaborate on how your architecture reduced cost by 40% or what are some of the trade-offs you had to do in your re-architecture or what areas did you focus on first and so forth. Whatever you put in your resume. Keep your end customer in mind and always relate to that when describing your experience. Another thing to watch out for is to avoid writing statements like worked as part of a team to build a cutting edge product. The above statement does not tell the recruiter about your contribution to the project. Remember, they are reviewing your resume, so they need to know your achievements and contributions. After these changes, you will considerably increase the chances of your resume getting noticed. I would love to know if these suggestions helped you in any way. Comment below to let me know. I will tell you what to expect in the first phone screening call and how to answer those questions in the follow-up video. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.